Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at two types of policies, expansionary and contractionary policy. With that said, let's get into it. So there's two types of policy that the government or the central bank can implement to slow or speed up the economy. And the two types of policy are known as expansionary and contractionary policy. And in this video, we're going to explain these terms relatively simply so that anybody can understand what the two types of policies are. Let's start with expansionary policy. Now, expansionary policy aims to increase the aggregate demand in an economy. And what this means is that we want people to spend more in the economy. So this is looking at targeting consumers and making them want to spend their money more, which then is going to promote economic growth. Economic growth just meaning that more money changing hands, more people buying things, more people selling things, and the economy is growing as a whole. Now, this seems obvious. Wouldn't the government or central bank always want to promote economic growth? Well, expansionary policy is particularly important during times of economic trouble. And the reason being, the economy at these points in the business cycle isn't doing very well. And so the government or central bank, whichever type of policy is being implemented, really wants to stimulate growth um, through various means. The best way to get out of a recession or decline in the business cycle is actually to spend your way out of it or to stimulate the economy into spending more or demanding more and to grow your economy that way. And this is where the phrase spend your way out of a recession comes from. Well, that begs the question, what is contractionary policy? Because it's seemingly the opposite and in a way it is. Because in this case, we want to decrease the aggregate demand in an economy or to decrease the amount of spending. And that might seem counterintuitive because in turn, that's just going to slow down economic growth. And you might wonder, why would the government or central bank ever want to slow down economic growth? When would this ever make sense? And the most notable cause or the most notable reason that a contractionary policy would be implemented is during a time of high inflation. So the primary goal of contractionary policy is to combat inflation and promote price stability within an economy. So in a period of high inflation, people are spending too much money and therefore monetary and fiscal policies are going to be contractionary because they want to slow people's spending down so that they can control inflation or price fluctuations from being too out of hand. Now, fiscal policy and monetary policy, which are implemented by two completely separate entities, one by the government and one by the central bank, handle these expansionary policy and contractionary policies very differently. We have a video that highlights each of these, so please, if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to take a look at that. Once again, this video is kind of just introducing the terms expansionary policy and contractionary policy, giving you a brief overview of what they are, what their goals are, and why the government or central bank would use them. Once again, they're two completely different things if you look at monetary policy versus fiscal policy. Once again, a brief summary, expansionary policy is aimed at increasing the spending and demand in an economy and increasing economic growth. While contractionary policy is seemingly the opposite, we wanna decrease aggregate demand, we wanna decrease spending and slow the economy. This is not to be confused with stopping the economy dead in its tracks. We just wanna cool it down a little bit so that we can control prices and inflation before we start to go back into that upward trend on the business cycle. We hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.